Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this 10 metre skein of cotton floss, six strands of cotton floss and because it is cotton I'm going to be using fibre reactive dyes. This is Scarlet fibre reactive dye from Dharma and I am just I didn't measure out how much <laughs> dye I mixed in here. I just put the, the end of a spoon in and hoped for the best. There was only a very tiny amount. And then I mixed it with warm water to dissolve. Now I'm just <laughs> doing half of this red. I want this to be a nice Christmassy feeling floss. I've made, I've dyed some Christmas yarn where I kettle dyed it green and then speckled red on top. So I thought this time I'm going to dye this red and then speckle green on top. Now I can't decide which green I want to use. So I've got Lime Pop and New Emerald Green. They're both fibre reactive dyes from Dharma. You can see I've got my gloves on. I have got my mask on. And I'm just going to grab a little pinch of this, sprinkle a tiny bit of new emerald green over this. There we go. I'm actually wondering now if I need the lime pop. That looks pretty good to me. My hands are dry. Oops. Now, everything I've used today is dedicated for dyeing. I haven't used it, for, I don't use it for food. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is, oops, oh no, I've got dye on that bit. Oh, stupid, stupid me. Let's see if I can just dab some of that green off. Ah, oh, I didn't really want it to cross contaminate like that, but I did something very stupid. So I wonder if I can just add a little bit more red. I mean, it's not going to cover it up, but make it really red. Maybe it won't look too bad when it's done. I don't know. This isn't working out quite how I had planned. So I'm going to fold this up. And it's a good, another good thing about using cling film. It's, uh, you can just use that to protect your surface, but also to roll up your floss. And now I'm just going to leave this for several days. All right, this has been over, sitting here for over a week. One of these days when I say I'm going to leave something for 48 hours, it will be 48 hours, not a week. Now there's quite a lot of green on this, but not much red. And it was the green powder that we used. So that's not too much of a surprise. There will be runoff. I can see there's lots of green coming off. Now that happens with uh, fibre reactive dyes and cotton. They don't exhaust in the same way that animal fibres do. So I'm gonna add a little bit of washing up liquid. And I find the best way to uh, wash cotton is to just let it soak in water and then change the water every hour or so until the water runs, runs clear. It can take quite a while. Sometimes it's taken me over a day, but I have found that's the best way of doing it. And I'm actually washing a lot of cotton at the moment in here. So I'm just gonna add this one to, to the bundle. There we go. See, there's not actually that much water much dye in the water considering how much uh, cotton there is actually there. So hopefully this won't take too long to completely run clear. And here is the finished floss. I definitely didn't use enough red dye in this because this is very pink, not red. I think it still works, but it's not quite the, the punchy red that I was expecting. And I know I speckled on, I know I speckled this, and I was expecting the colours to spread, but they really have. But look, there are still some some specks in here. And there's breaking. I love it when the colours break. And particularly here when you see the colours sort of blending, that's where the blues are really coming out there. 
and and here and it's muddied a little bit but I don't think it particularly ruins the the floss I think it just adds another dimension to it and there's some nice tonal variation in that green and I really like how it's sort of speckled and um, spread out at the same time I think it looks lovely and I think so if I wrap it up together like that yeah I think that is still fairly Christmassy uh, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you think of this floss. Is this a Christmassy floss to you or have I not done the red enough or does the blue sort of ruin it for you for, for being a Christmassy floss? Let me know. I take all your suggestions out on board and I do try to turn them into various videos. I do publish videos once a week on Mondays at around about 6pm UK time and I do like to experiment. I like to do different things in my tutorials. I like to play around with colours and, and fibre types so there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.